Hi, this is a quick demo of the new Nexus firewall capabilities for YAM type repositories that have been released with the latest releases of the Nexus IQ server and Nexus repository connection. Here's how it works. The YAM proxy and host repository capability in Nexus repository helps you speed up your YAM package installs by acting as a caching proxy between your local uh, uh, virtual machines or uh, servers running the CentOS or Red Hat Enterprise Linux or Fedora core ser servers and your external uh, registries where you're attempting to fetch packages from. And what you can do is configure proxy repositories to places such as the Fedora EPAL repository. So when your local installations or system administrators request a new package, the resolution is first attempted from your local Nexus repository and only if a component is not present there it will be fetched from the outside world um, into your local installation so that the next time they're uh, fetched uh, they come directly from your local environment. This speeds up your uh, installations uh, significantly and allows you uh, to uh, uh, download an external component only once without having to resolve it from the external uh, world uh, every single time. Now the new Nexus firewall capability adds on an exciting new automated uh, decision making uh, capability on top of this that allows you to audit, audit uh, the components that you're downloading automatically against uh, your own policies about any known security violations, licensing issues, or quality issues related to these uh, RPM components. The way it works is you uh, connect our Nexus IQ server to the, your existing Nexus repository installation and turn on the firewalling capability. From there on out, any new components that a, a, a local uh, service uh, attempts to resolve uh, will be audited against your open source policy. That way, we can actually make automated decisions and block the components that violate your uh, existing open source policies from ever even entering your local development environment, thus making sure that your end users are not installing any packages that might violate any of your uh, security policies. This way, everything that you're downloading and everything that you're using becomes a trusted component that has gone through automated uh, decision making. So, how does it work? The demonstration starts right here in the Nexus Repository Manager. Ever since a few releases ago, you have been able to create uh, the proxy or hosted repositories for YAM components. Essentially, allowing you to either create local registries for your own RPMs or proxies to other external uh, re registries, such as the Fedora EPAL. So, if I want to create a proxy, for example, to the Fedora EPAL, the only thing I have to do is just select the uh, YAM proxy recipe, give it a name, give a location for where the remote storage uh, should exist, and finally decide where I want to store uh, the uh, 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 registries, uh, registries component as they're being cached in the Nexus repository. Uh, once this is done, I can now configure my local servers to point to the um, uh, um, local Nexus repository. Here I have a configuration that just uh, calls my YAM EPAL registry and uh, tells it to uh, check, uh, check uh, that for new packages. So if I attempt to uh, install new packages such as uh, Nginx, what should happen is once I do the resolution, it will use uh, my new found uh, um, uh, Fedora EPAL proxy as a source for uh, installing the package. And as we can see indeed, uh, it has come up in the list and has, um, has uh, chosen Nexus as the, uh, as the uh, source for downloading. Let me just do that. What's really cool about this is now that I've downloaded uh, the Nginx package and, and the installation is, is there, uh, this will be ho stored in my local Nexus repository for future use. So anyone else trying to attempt to download this component can now already see what we've downloaded and what versions we have. And I can even access uh, more insta information about the package, such as the description uh, that's associated with the um, package itself. So, well, how does Firewall add on into this capability? Well, Firewall is a capability that we can add on top of the uh, top of the um, uh, Nexus repository. It's based around uh, connecting the Nexus repository with our Nexus IQ server, that is uh, the policy engine that uh, we provide. 
the only thing you have to do is wire your Nexus Repository Manager with your Nexus IQ server. And within your Nexus IQ server, you configure policies about your open source tolerances. These policies can be around security, licensing, or even uh, the quality of your open source component. So for example, if I want to uh, uh, create a firewall rule around security policies, um, I, can, uh, I can take any one of my existing open source policies and just turn on failing during the proxy stage. And here I'm, I have a rule that says that any package with a known and documented security violation with a severity of over five on the CVSS scale should be uh, firewalled uh, automatically. So how does that work? Well, once I've designed my policies and I've connected my servers together, the only thing I have to do is just turn on a audit and quarantine capability onto the, um, uh, onto the um, registry. This capability becomes accessible when you connect uh, a your IQ server to the uh, fire to the uh, repository. Once the IQ server is uh, connected, uh, I can turn on this capability and enable quarantining. Well, what happens is uh, the uh, the uh, server will uh, attempt to a result. Uh, it will go through all the contents of your uh, existing uh, installation and run them through your policy violations. It seems like there are no no policy violations whatsoever. So, as I attempt to install another package, there is no other configuration needed as an end user of Nexus repository. So, if I attempt to install another package, uh, I don't need to do anything other than just attempt to do it. So, let's try it. I'm going to install and try this one instead. Again, we can see that it comes from the Nexus local Nexus repository manager. And if I uh, uh, accept this, we can see that the installation process failed this time with an error message calling forbidden. So what does this mean from an end user perspective? Well, if we come back to our Nexus repository and we refresh this view, we can now see that one of the components has been marked quarantined. We can go in and investigate this further and see that the component that I just attempted to download has, a, uh, has broken a security policy that we used to firewall the registry. We can see uh, information about the component, and if I investigate further, I can see that it's got some security violations uh, associated with it, including uh, a, um, a privilege escalation vulnerability. So, I can use this view to investigate further onto the details of the uh, vulnerabilities. I can see some other uh, security vulnerabilities uh, associated with this module as well. But if I choose uh, choose to take on the risk, uh, we can um, release this quarantine as we want it. So, uh, if uh, after investigation we come to a conclusion that we can we are willing to live with this risk, we can issue a policy waiver onto the component. We can scope it either on this proxy or all of the repositories that might contain the same package, or even to the entire company. In this case, I'm just going to scope it here. And once we have done that, I can actually go in and waive the policy uh, and release the quarantine of this component. Once I've done that, if I attempt to reinstall this component, it succeeds as normal and downloads it. So this has been a quick demonstration of how to use the Nexus firewall for YAM. Thank you very much for listening.